Yo, you can follow me on Instagram at Dre Butters 313. That's D-R-E-B-U-T-T-E-R-Z. You can hit me on Twitter, on Facebook, all the same. Dre Butters, D-R-E-B-U-T-T-E-R-Z 313. checked in with Dre Butters, we all have a story to tell and a lesson to learn, and this is my story. Yo, this your man's Dre Butters, and this is my story from my city. Welcome to Detroit. Uh, I'm 37 years old, born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. As a kid, what did you think you was going to be? Uh, as a kid, I, I knew I was going to be a musician. Started off at like five, beating on pots and pans, uh, drums, keyboard. Both sides of my family pretty much did music, so, yeah. Did you grow up in a poor, middle class, or rich family? Um, I would say, I would say poor. Okay. I would definitely say poor. Some could say middle class, because how it looked, because it can be an illusion sometimes. But yeah, we pretty much was, was broke. <laughs> All right. Um, did you grow up in a single or co-parenting home? Single home, raised by my mother. Yeah. Did you, was your father involved in your life at all? Yeah, yeah, in and out. In and out at that time. Now more so full time, but yeah. You said mm. now so full time? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he on car, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Do you think that affected your life in any way? Oh, yeah, major. Majorly. Can you give an example how? Um, can I give a little backstory? Yeah. All right, so uh, pretty much, you know how um, the mothers keep the child away from the, the father type deal, type situation. That's pretty much what it was. And then, um, you know, a bunch of other stuff occurred and time just went went by. And then after I got older, um, I sought out to, uh, to be with him, to know, to get to know him. And then he kind of was like in and out, you know what I mean? But uh, it affected my life tremendously because um, it was just a lot that uh, I needed to know as a man, you know what I'm saying, as a growing man, I mean, which is, you know, relatable to anybody that's in that situation, but, um, man, pretty much I just, um, I kind of was flipping out in school. I ain't had no direction as far as a male in my life. My mother did the best. You know what I'm saying? Best she, she could. I got kicked out of school, got kicked out of Detroit Public Schools, had to go to Macomb County Schools it's here in Michigan. Then I had to go to, um, I went to military school. That's where I actually graduated from, military school. So, yeah. And then actually after, shoot, when I was like, I was like 24, I went to Vegas. And it's like one of those movie type situations. I met a girl and got married out there and then had no structure, you know what I'm saying? Had no, I just, I just loved, you know what I'm saying? Just in love, you know what I mean? So moved her back here to Detroit and um, we kind of just fell apart. Everything fell apart, lost it. And then that's when I went back in my mind, like, man, if my dad was here to teach me how to be a husband, or how to, you know what I'm saying? How to do this, then I would, you know what I mean? So it kind of, it kind of came back around, you know what I mean? But then I had to accept, like, you gotta love everybody for where they are in their life too. You know what I'm saying? Cause he's living and growing just like I am. So, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, yeah, so it, it affected me, definitely, for sure. So what would you say to women that keep their uh, kids away from the father or their sons away from the father just out of spite? Um, I would say, I would suggest them not to do it. You know what I mean? There's many different situations. You may have domestic situations to where, you know, 
they can't be around them or whatever it is, but I pretty much would tell um, all the women, especially our black queens, to uh, take it into consideration how it could have an impact on your child's life, uh, not just today, but for the rest of their lives. You know what I'm saying? Give them that opportunity, give them that chance and, and um, to have that in their life because um, more of our society, uh, we need to be trying to better better this shit for real. I mean, I, I can cuss on yeah. it. Yeah, we need to be trying to better this shit for real. And I get it. A lot of these women are battered, abused, mentally, mental illness, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But that is definitely not the answer. So that's what I would say. Not the answer. Education. Uh, I got to the high school. I got, yeah. Uh, uh, what was your first career choice? Um, first career choice was uh, I was a minister of music at church. I think I was like ten. Started at ten. Um, yeah, playing keyboard, keyboard and piano. Pretty much did that. At what age do you feel you became an adult? Um, 30. <laughs> 30. 30, yeah. 30? Uh, just because um, us, uh, we go back to, you know, the father thing pretty much. Um, a lot of different people start to come in my life that were valuable to me and giving me information like, no, this ain't what a man, you know what I mean? No, this is what a man, this is what a man does, you know what I'm saying? Especially like Mr. B&B, Unk, Peanut. Like, he, he always like, no, man, this is what you do. Stabilize, protect, you know what I'm saying? Taught me about emotions. Like, because you just living, just going, just like, oh, yeah, no, this is energy. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, pretty much it was just, pretty much it was um, mentors coming into my life at that age, 28, 29, yeah. You checked in with Dre Butters. We all have a story to tell and a lesson to learn. And this is my story. <laughs> choke, no choke. You know what it is. Yo, y'all niggas with a stay DL. Down low. Stop flossing, man. What you, you, what you just, you just want them to just come and get you? Learn from our mistakes, man. That's what this is about. Learn from mistakes. Choke, no joke. Let's go, you already know, make a love, let's go. My aim was enlightened, drop jewels on you. You thinking I'm jealous, I ain't got cheddar like you. I'm the dude to a game, you got school.